10 incredible cheap clone fragrances that smell like something way more expensive, this is going to be a really good list. Before we get into it, please give me a very expensive or even a cheap click on the like button. Also remember to subscribe if you haven't done that and let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite cheap alternative to a much more expensive fragrance. Okay, let's begin with this one right here. This one has changed a lot in the past two weeks since I got it. This one is Paris Corners Mage Appletini. And this is, of course, if you can't tell by looking, this is a dupe of By Killian's Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Now, I don't think I've smelled the original Apple Brandy on the Rocks. I have smelled Apple Brandy, which is a surprisingly dry, woody fragrance with some apple and a touch of booziness. This one's actually quite similar, but the woodiness is rolled back. The booziness is in this, you know, it's barely discernible and it's sweetened up quite a bit. And this is supposed to have, I think, rum and brandy, but to my nose, it almost smells like more of a vodka note or something. So this is coming from somebody who hasn't smelled the Killian's but what I will tell you is this is sort of a sweet apple fragrance with a lot of woods in the base, something kind of like Parfums de Marly Greenly. Although I would say this is sweeter and there are some differences. It's not quite as woody as Greenly, but since it is sweeter and since it's got that apple, that sort of very vibrant, bright apple, it's sort of an any time of the year fragrance. I was wearing this a couple weeks ago whenever it was in the 90s and it wasn't too sweet. Now that it's sweetened a little bit though, I'm thinking this is going to be great for the fall, which is apple season, and also great for the winter. So it's just, it's really good. I mean, if apple and wood sounds good to you, check out Maj Appletini. All right, next. This one is a dupe of a uh, niche fragrance that got a ton of love, a ton of hype. I'm talking about Yves Saint Laurent Baby Cat. This one is Arabiat Prestige Nile Queen. Baby Cat is this quite smoky, uh, thick, leathery fragrance with a very distinct gourmand vanilla note. The vanilla is something like, you know, Spiritus Double Vini or something, or even like Mercedes-Benz Club Black, a very edible kind of vanilla, mixing with these very not edible fragrances like smoke and uh, a very strong leather note. It's kind of a clash, but in the most interesting way. I've got a couple dupes now of Baby Cat, and I find myself going back to them again and again. Also, a strong woodiness, like cedar, I believe, a strong woody note. If you want a good clone of Baby Cat, this one is really good and really, really strong. You spray more than four sprays of this, and I think you will regret it. Nile Queen by Arabiat Prestige. All right, this one is a dupe of a Louis Vuitton fragrance that I have never actually smelled, which is Pacific Chill. This one is Luciano Coastal Breeze. This fragrance is incredible. This is an extra de parfum, very long lasting summer fragrance. You could totally wear it year round. I mean, it's got enough sweetness and enough heft, enough thickness to wear in the winter, but it definitely has sort of a, uh, a summery kind of vibe, you know, enjoying vacation on the beach. It has that kind of a feel. There is a muskiness that almost gives you kind of an aquatic vibe, and there's a lot of fruits in this. There's uh, fig, like fig fruit, not just fig leaf. There's uh, several other, like apricot. There's uh, some citron, so a good blast of fruitiness, and then some, again, sort of aquatic, sort of musky feel in the base. It's really good and surprisingly long-lasting Luciano Coastal Breeze. All right, now we're going into some fragrances. I'm very familiar with the original, like this one right here. My favorite Tom Ford fragrance is Tobacco Vini, and this is a killer dupe of Tobacco Vini. I'm talking about Tobacco Touch by Mason Alhambra. You know, very inexpensive, $25 usually even on Amazon Prime. 
and it is a super gorgeous, spicy tobacco fragrance. The tobacco is very well done and discernible. The vanilla is powerful. The spiciness, you've got some cinnamon, you've got some clove, you've got, uh, I think, some pepper. So like a, a hot, spicy spice with that wonderful uh, sweetness and tobacco. Really, really good stuff right here. Tobacco touch. Also licorice. Uh, the smell of this and the Tom Ford has often been compared to root beer. And it, if you could amplify the spiciness in root beer, that would actually make quite a lot of sense. All right, this next one, this is an, a really, really good alternative to the x version of BR540, Baccarat Rouge 540. This is Amber Oud Ruby Edition by Al Haramain. You've got this, you know, red ruby glass that nice gold on the front. You know, the presentation on these I always thought was weird, but the longer I've had it, the more I actually like it. I think the two ounce bottles are even cooler. Uh, they just, you know, whatever, I'm a fragrance nerd, but this is a great alternative to BR540 x -Trate, which the x I think is less palatable than the EDP. They have one called Rouge Edition, which is the EDP, which from what I understand is also very, very good. I remember we went on a cruise uh, about a year or so ago and everybody on the boat was wearing BR540. By the time I got back home, I was craving this fragrance and wore it nonstop for about a month. It's so very good, but it does have that kind of burnt almond, burnt sugar accord uh, that the X-Trait has. So be warned, but this stuff is great. All right, next. This one is so very good. And I've seen some people in the comments say they don't like this fragrance, but I wonder if you have smelled the By Killian's version, Black Phantom, because this is actually quite close. This is uh, Fragrance World's F.A. Paris brand, Spectre Wraith. This is rum and coffee and chocolate and woods. And this one does have, they, they nail the, the rum accord. I only have a few dupes where I feel like, man, they really did a great job with the booziness. That's something that seems to be tough to do, cheap, I guess. This one, they nail the booziness. There's uh, sort of the booze and woods go together and do something that makes this such a unique, like you know immediately when you're smelling Black Phantom and then the coffee and the chocolate come together. It's a dark fragrance. I say this is what Batman wears on date night. Spectre Wraith, really good stuff. All right, this next one. This one is an alternative to Creed Aventus Cologne. This one is very inexpensive, usually about $25. They did a great job with it. This is Rayon Tradition Insurrection 2 Sport. And it is a great sort of sport summer fragrance. It's sort of a, a light, lighter, more citrus focused take on the Aventus DNA. It's excellent. It's not redundant to have a good Creed Aventus dupe and to have this, which is more the cologne, and even to have something like uh, Armoff Pre Show, which is a dupe of Absolute Aventus. So, anyway, this is really good stuff. I only, I, I was really late to the game. I only got this one this past summer, and you can see I've already worn it quite a bit. Really good stuff here. All right. Next, we'll go with this one right here. This one, I was also a little bit late to the party because I have a couple decent dupes of By the Fireplace, but I picked this one up and it is now my favorite. This is Ace of Spades by Fragrance World. And I've only had it for a month or so and they just, they nailed it. That sort of woody, smoky vibe and that vanillic, marshmallowy sweetness, the sort of clash of the two worlds, dark and smoky woods, and marshmallowy, vanillic sweetness, smells like you're roasting marshmallows by the fire, Ace of Spades, great alternative to Mason Martin Margiela by the fireplace. Next, this is one that's now become my favorite alternative to Bulgari Tigar. This one is Bravanzo Vestige. And here's what I like about this one over the other two clones or dupes that I have is this one takes the, there is a sweet green citrus opening of Tigar. And it is uh, like an Afnan Tarathi uh, blue. It's my favorite part of the fragrance, but it doesn't last throughout the fragrance. There's, you know, there's a, more of sort of like an aromatic and 
uh, almost like a pungent kind of a nature that becomes the emphasis after a couple hours. But with this one, that tart, citrus, green sweetness, it hangs on for hours and hours and hours. And it is more prominent in this than it is in the other dupes that I have. Again, Bravanzo Vestige, this stuff is excellent. It smells like the color of this bottle. And uh, man, it's good. You know, spring, summer, this one is a banger. And finally, another fragrance that I have not smelled the original to. So I think there's a few of those in here that I've said that about. And I'm just telling you what I think about the fragrance. I can't compare it to the original because I don't know what the original really smells like. And this one, I've never smelled BDK's Grease Charnel. But I can tell you this one right here, Latafa Liam Gray is so interesting. It's, uh, it's mysterious. It's dark. It is a tea fragrance with uh, some fig. Like I think this would probably be more like fig leaf. There's uh, some incense. There's uh, some, I believe there's some vanilla. There's a good bit of sweetness and there's actually a good bit of darkness as well. There's, I believe there's some incense if I didn't already say that, but a little bit of sort of a smoky vibe mixing with that black tea. Some people say it reminds them of Earl Grey tea. I can kind of get that, uh, but it's just this sort of mysterious, dark, kind of mature. I can't imagine a guy, you know, 18 or early 20s really liking this, but if you want something different that's going to give you sort of a, a little window into niche perfumery, this one right here for like 25 bucks is going to get the job done. Latafa Liam Gray. So that has been... 10 fragrances you can pick up for a really great price that are going to get you quite close to a much more expensive fragrance. Let me know down in the comments section what would be your top couple picks for similar fragrances. And remember to give a click to the like button if you like it and subscribe because I got videos coming out every couple days. I'm Justin and this is Siash Sense.